Welcome to Malaysians for Change, Part 2. Today, we wish to talk to you about trends and mental models. Ultimately, we want to talk to you about your freedom and how we can work together to achieve it. Some of the ideas may be new, but with patience, you will find it is not so difficult to understand and you will find it very useful in your life. We have two topics to consider in this video, trends and mental models. Power always has to be kept in check. Power exercised in secret, especially under the cloak of national security, is very dangerous. PERC surveys the business risks of investing in various countries in Asia. One important measure they focus on is corruption, which they consider as part of systemic risk. It has gone up from 5.00 in 1996 to 6.97 in 2010, meaning that risks to businesses due to corruption have gotten much higher. This has affected foreign direct investment into Malaysia, leading to less job creation. All governments lie. To get at the truth, we must study long-term trends. Bank Nagara's Consumer Price Index is not reliable, nor is the ringgit stable. Over the past 40 years, food prices went up seven times. But measured in gold, food prices went down six times instead. Car prices went up 11 times over 40 years. But measured in gold, car prices went down four times instead. House prices went up 15 times over 40 years. But measured in gold, house prices went down three times instead. Graduate salary went up only two and a half times in 40 years. Measured in gold, it dropped 18 times. Are you getting the picture? Let me put it another way. In 1970, a fresh graduate earned 7.14 ounces of gold. In December 2010, that same graduate earned 0 0.39 ounces of gold. Isn't this terrible? After 40 years of development, our graduates are only getting 6% of what they got in 1970. The problem is, we are paid in ringgit, not gold. That's why we are worse off today compared to 40 years ago. From demographic trends, the middle class is shrinking. The lower class is expanding and power is growing in the hands of the political elites. Clearly, we are on track to become slaves of the government in power, just as in Myanmar. What dangers do we face? National debt, bloated bureaucracy, shrinking foreign and domestic investment, boiled frogs. Portugal, Ireland, Italy, Greece and Spain. These are the five euro countries deemed at risk. Greece and Ireland needed a euro bailout in 2010. Consider Ireland's debt to GDP. It's 83%. By 2015-2016, our debt GDP may reach the level of Ireland of December 2010. And they needed a bailout then. By 2011, one in three and a half workers will be on the government payroll. Are they trying to put the 2.6 million rela as postal voters? This is the highest in the region, more than three times that of the number two Singapore. Is this sustainable? The market is warning us. Local businessmen have lost confidence in the country. 
25.77 billion ringgit left in 2009. But the change is so gradual that most people are slowly boiled like the boiled frog, blissfully unaware of the dangers. Others speak no evil, see no evil, and hear no evil. Some are waking up, but they can't pinpoint the exact cause of the problem. Let's try to understand through mental models. Visualize a jigsaw puzzle. Minimal information. Can be changed easily. Use as a filter to evaluate information. Pyramids are mental models. So is the matrix. What is a matrix? It's a cash flow and control diagram. How money and control flows. Flow of time, labor, products, services. How government extracts money from you through taxes, fines and even inflation. Do you know Governments create inflation to cheat you? Complicated, isn't it? But don't worry. There are only two things to remember. Number one, you. Everything revolves around you. You provide the labor, you pay taxes, you consume production, and you move the economy. In other words, you are the sucker to be exploited. However, there is another part of you that is very, very important. You can vote. In fact, you can even change the government. But only if you are willing to change. That means you can be a threat to them. So how do they overcome this problem? Number two, they wage psychological warfare on you. You are treated as an enemy. They dumb you down. They manipulate you through greed, fear, the media, religion, race, education and culture to divide and rule you. Their goal is disunity and you end up as a boiled frog slowly being boiled alive. Here's a simplified version. It's also known as the rat race. The objective of government is to put you to sleep. The government controls you through force, laws and the police. They work on creating hatred and jealousy. Bank Nagara has the monopoly to print ringgit. You are trained from young to accept the ringgit as money. To them, money is free, only ink and paper. But to you, it's not. You have to work for it. In the past, this was known as slavery. Today, we call it the modern economy. But it is still slavery. Banks distribute money for Bank Nagara. In return, they are given a license to collect deposits and lend it out. The bank takes one ringgit from you, leverage it and lends out 100 ringgit. Through this, they exploit your bosses and you. Bosses build businesses and provide employment for you. The Securities Commission is set up by the government to regulate the KLSE. The KLSE runs the stock market. It's a place for companies to raise money. This process is called an IPO. Approved companies with IPO can issue shares and sell to the public. That's another way to print money. Actually, the KLSE is a casino where the game is rigged against you. The key to understanding everything is to recognize cash flow and control. Understand this concept and a lot of things in life will begin to make sense to you. Today we have looked at the matrix. To find out more, visit tindakmalaysia.com. 
Conspiracy, the rat race. There are several sections. A. Parts 1 to 6, together with B. The global rat race. Next, read the forums, Malaysians for Change. They host this video series and the action plans. Finance and economics. Gold and precious metals. Study them to prepare for the coming financial crisis. We hope you will read it carefully and take steps to protect yourself and your families. The next video will have more mental models. To sum up, the trends tell us that within the next five to six years, we are headed for a financial crisis. We need to change and change fast before that happens. Otherwise, millions will lose their jobs and drop further into poverty. Change now. This brings us to the end of part two. Please visit us at tindakmalaysia.com, Malaysians for Change. Also, email us at vnet5m at gmail.com to tell us what you think and how we can work together. Thank you for listening.